it appeared as though his top end strength returned. And Judging off great. of that, yeah. yeah. Depp looks good. Nice, smooth, easy opener. And you know the athlete's feeling good when they're smiling halfway up the squat. Wow. Oh. He's on good form tonight. Yeah, his training has been fantastic. That yeah, looks like a, a second attempt should. It was work, but no major struggles. Now, Emil has hit 300 kilos before. He's close to the limit, I think. Yeah, maybe 300 right on the money. I think so. He squatted 320. Swedish nationals. At a certain point, that was all heart. And this young man is full of heart. Oh, it looks like Jonathan's not the only one on his A game. This is trouble. Everyone's bringing it today. This is big trouble in 2021. And 200 kilos offers very little resistance. But his training has gone a lot better for the World Championships than it was for Sheffield. That was superb. And that was fast. You have a bench battle on their hands, I think. Now, looking at projected totals, we have a lot of competition to get through yet, but looking at the projected, Kaiko is only five kilos ahead of Krastev. And that's a smooth... It is a very tight race with Kaiko, just like last year's World Championships, and wow! <laughs> Blink and you miss it. <laughs> And that moved exactly as the second attempt should. For so long, Jonathan Keiko was nine for nine in events. He earned the nickname. Look at him literally yawning as he leaves the platform. Talk about might win worlds, or at the very least, he could just deadlift a little bit more at the end. Oh, it's whoa! Quite, it's not quite nope. there. And that's something that did not happen at Swedish Nationals. This will be a silver medal in the bench press event. That was so fast on the descent. Wow, and there it is. And that was smooth and easy, Joe. It was absolutely brilliant. I think he had a few more kilos left there. Jonathan, he has that crucial chip. Jonathan Keiko is on point today, six for six. So those are the bench results with Kaiko taking the gold and a new world record with 243. Krastev silver, aid in bronze. Oh wow, Joe. He's looking he, good. He's gonna be difficult to beat when he's like this, especially if he's deadlifting after Kaiko. That's smooth as well. Well, this is starting to get tough to call. I got a feeling we're going to have another nail biter right down to the last deadlifts.
10 kilos below his previous personal best. And it's still smooth. I would say there was another 10 kilos there. I would say there might be more. How much more, I'm not sure. Is it enough to take the lead? That's another good second. Yeah, I don't think he's right up against his limit. Another 17 and a half kilos. Judges agree. And where is Emil resting with that 17 and a half kilos added to his total? The rankings on your screen on the left at the moment is that's where we are. Now, if he misses. And Jonathan Keiko hits. Absolutely brilliant. Nine for nine, a world record total, and surely the gold medal. Coaching staff in the warm up room watching tentatively. Oh, brilliant. Beautiful pull by Gustav. And there's your silver medalist. Seven and a half kilo jump from the second. Oh, the knees are knocking, the engine's revving, but he locks it out. And I tell you what, perfect weight for the final pull, because any more, I don't think he would have had it. Yeah, I think another kilo would not have gone. I know previously he's pulled more, and the temptation of maybe taking a huge swing for the podium might have been there, but it wouldn't have happened today. But that gets him fourth place. I, I think that's his best result ever. And Jonathan Keiko going nine for nine. Once again, becoming Mr. Perfect for 888 kilos. Gustav Hedlund taking the silver medal. And Emil Krasov of Bulgaria with 872.5 taking the bronze.